Well, this is a very interesting article on the New York Times. This was published on the 17th of February with a very unfortunate title, it's Snack Time in the Cosmos, because this does not really give the reader an understanding of the importance of the information contained within this article. Because basically what this article is explaining to us is scientists have observed a cloud moving towards the galactic core, which they call Sagittarius A. Now this cloud has been observed moving towards the galactic core since 2011 in a very rapid manner. And they are suggesting that when the cloud intersects with the galactic core, we are going to experience a galactic superwave. They also go on to say that it could create more x-rays and radio waves, but that some researchers think there is a star in the center of the galactic core and have proposed that it may actually produce a stronger shock and generate more light. So what are the chances at the end of a processional cycle that we have a cloud moving towards the galactic core that could create a superwave generating more light? And then when you actually understand the Native American wisdom and what they relay in their knowledge is they say throughout the cycle the galactic core experiences an outburst and showers the galaxy in particles that renew everything and purify. So again very interesting and due to the fact that the principle of cause and effect states that there is no such thing as chance because it is but a law unrecognized I think that we are seeing significant changes for a reason in our cosmic environment and I also think that this is where we need to understand that we are in larger cycles. And so if we are un to understand the cycles that play out on the earthly realm, we need to understand the cycles on a larger scale that we are part of and that we have become disconnected to. And this is why we continue to be the little frogs at the bottom of the pond and we never actually look any further out. We only look in our immediate environment because that's how we've been taught to look. We've been taught to put blinkers over our understanding of everything. And so when we understand that there are larger cycles and events that scientists don't really have all the answers for. And they admit in this article that there are many things that may occur. But I do find it very interesting that increased light is one of them. Now before I go, I just do want to bring your attention to the fact that we've just had an X-flare and it is a pretty decent X-flare, just a big spike there out of nowhere. They were not expecting this. Just goes to show once again that they have no understanding of the new cycles on the sun. And basically, uh, we're being told that it's not uh, geo-effective, but you can be assured that we are going to experience the energy from this X-flare. Regardless of whether the data from NASA relays this information to us, because there is a lot of energetic exchanges happening between the earth and the sun 
that are not matching the data of NASA. So I will just continue to watch the raw data, waiting for an update on the KP to see how the um, magnetics is going to go with this latest flare. But we can see that the protons are starting to come up already. Okay, so just keep looking at the data and also just, you know, applying all of this information to ourselves. So, you know, with these events, we do actually sometimes feel them in a emotional and physical way. So we can expect that this may occur when uh, we get an X-flare of this size. And, you know, also, guys, we need to understand that it plays out within the political scene as well. So you suddenly begin to see world leaders become more agitated. Um, talks won't go so well. So it'll be interesting to see what happens on that front too because I always like to see what happens and how that plays out when we get one of these huge x flares because this one is actually the biggest one we've had since 2012 so that's quite significant we can see that the sun is now definitely moving into a more active cycle again when it's starting to give us these big flares so hang on guys hang on all right well i will post everything underneath um, including this science paper of this g2 cloud that's moving into the galactic center and you guys can check that all out for yourselves. And as always, peace out.